Hey guys, it's Nella here and today I'm in Japan and I'm about to try a bunch of different foods from the Japanese 7-Eleven. Now I've got a wide range of different items to try. I'm not too sure what all of them are, but they look really good and I'm really excited. Alright, so first up I want to try the classic egg salad sandwich. Now, so many people I've watched on YouTube have tried this sandwich and it's always looked really, really good. So I've always wanted to try it. This looks absolutely amazing and it smells really nice as well. I absolutely love egg, so I've been wanting to try this for so long. All right, let's see. Mm. That is actually amazing. Like, I love egg sandwiches, but I've never had an egg sandwich that's been that nice. Oh my God, it was so good. It's really, really good. All right, so next up, we're gonna try the teriyaki chicken and egg sandwich. I assume it's the same as the egg one, but they've just added some lettuce and some teriyaki chicken. But yeah, it looks really good. Now, I don't know how this is gonna beat the egg sandwich, but I reckon it's gonna be pretty nice. All right, let's go. It's definitely really good. I quite like teriyaki chicken. And it does taste really nice. I think I like the simplicity of the egg one better. But this is still really, really good. And I definitely, I definitely rate this. Mm. Alright, so next up is the pork cutlet. Now, this is a pretty damn big piece of pork for 367 yen. It's like, it's pretty heavy as well, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it goes pretty far back into the sandwich, so I reckon this is a pretty good deal. Alright, let's try it. Oh my god. Okay, I have a new favorite. It's got this like spicy mustard stuff. And it's so good. It almost tastes like wasabi. Wasabi-ish. It's quite like, it's got like a kick to it, but it's not like a normal mustard. It's really, really nice. Oh my god. I could live on these things. This is so good. Keep in mind that this has been sitting in a fridge all day and it is still really, really nice. It's a good piece of pork. Mm. I definitely rate this really, really highly. This is like a salt 10 out of 10. This is really, really good. Alright, I better save some space for the next one but I'm gonna come back to that later so next up is this creamy rare cheese tart now I don't know how this is gonna taste but it kind of looks like a cheesecake to me so I'm not sure but then it also looks kind of savory so yeah let's see Ooh, it's quite delicate I feel like it's definitely going to be sweet because it smells really sweet. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Guys, it's basically cheesecake. 
and it also tastes like I don't know how many people have tried these before but they're these little snacks called dungaroos that we used to get in New Zealand I'm pretty sure they used to sell them everywhere else as well but it tastes like the dipping like the sweet it was like these little crackers and it had like a sweet kind of almost icing like sauce this tastes like the icing from dungaroos and I was obsessed with them like they were so good but they I think they just took them off the shelf so I don't know why hate it when they discontinue things that you really like but this tastes like dungaroos like it actually is the exact same taste it's crazy that's actually so good it is a dungaroo like it it is it's a dungaroo it doesn't taste any different at all mmm so good. Alright, so next up is the shrimp and mayo onigiri. And I actually love these things. I eat these quite a lot in New Zealand, but I've never tried a shrimp and mayo one. So let's see how it tastes. I actually think these are the same ones we get in New Zealand. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's the same brand as well. They look exactly the same. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. And even like the wrapping is the same, it's like the little bits of seaweed come off the ends like that. So yeah. It smells really, really good though. Like super good. I love the smell of seaweed. It's like it's like crack, it's like addictive. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty good. They've somehow managed to keep the seaweed like pretty crunchy as well. Even though it's been sitting in a fridge all day with like moist rice, it's like pretty good. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but it was pretty crunchy. The inside's not very flavorful, like, I can't really taste any shrimp or mayo for that matter. Like, you can probably see. Mmm. I feel like it's like really good, minus the fact that there's not enough filling. Like all I can really taste is the seaweed and the rice, and maybe like a swat, like slight salty flavor from the shrimp and mayo. But yeah, it's still good though. Still really good. So next up is this chocolate banana omelet. Now I don't actually know where the chocolate is because I don't really see any chocolate. I'm assuming it's inside, but. I love Japanese pastries, especially the ones with like the fake whipped cream. It's so, so good. So I reckon I'm gonna like this. Definitely tastes like banana. Oh, it's very delicate. It's so soft, guys. Like, you can't imagine. It's, it's like. It's so, so soft, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever felt a food that is this soft before. All right, let's give it a try. There's the chocolate. That is really good. It's got like a whole banana in the middle and the whipped cream is like banana flavored as well. And I feel like, I don't wanna break it, but I feel like the banana is like coated in chocolate, but it's hard to see. Mm. Definitely right, this one is really good. So next up, I'm gonna be trying the wasabi potato chips. Now I love wasabi, anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with wasabi. Like when I have sushi or sashimi, I just absolutely pack the wasabi on. It's one of my favorite flavors, so I know I'm pretty much gonna love these. That's really good. Tastes exactly like wasabi. It 
and it's not too strong either it's got like a bit of a kick but it's not super intense so I feel like a lot of people who might not like wasabi might like these but it's still pretty good like these are good chips All right, so the next thing I'm gonna try is this little bowl. It's got like a bunch of toppings on it and it's got some noodles underneath. Now I assume this is a ramen or something, so I'm gonna add some hot water. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it's gonna be too late by then because I'm just gonna add hot water anyway and hopefully it tastes good. This is actually so cute crazy. I wish we had stuff like this in New Zealand. Oh yeah surely that's surely you meant to like heat something up or have I like fucked up. The more and more I think about this the more and more I'm gonna assume that I might have to eat this cold. I feel like all these ingredients here are like cold ones but then I also feel like it's going to be strange cold. Alright so I took some initiative and decided I'm going to be eating it cold. I feel like it's meant to be eaten cold. I don't think you're meant to add hot water so I'm going to just try it out like this and if it's absolutely horrible then I'll add some hot water but I'm pretty certain it's a cold dish. All right, let's try it. I think I'm gonna try to get like a little bit of everything. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, that's definitely meant to be eaten cold. There's no way that that would have tasted good with um, hot water in it. <laughs> Luckily I thought about that one before adding it. This is actually really good, like I could totally see myself having this as a meal and it's got the exact sauce I love. I'm not sure, I think it's like a pon, it's either like a ponzu or like a dashi. I'm pretty sure it's definitely got dashi in it because it's, it's just got that like familiar smell because I use dashi a lot when cooking so I think I'm pretty good at being able to pick up that smell. It's really good though. Try the egg. Now I know it on top of this is, is, I'm pretty sure it's like a yellow wasabi. I think it's the same thing that was in the pork. It's got like a mustardy taste to it, but it, it tastes more like wasabi. Well, it looks like mustard, but it tastes more like wasabi. Remember, I've had it before at a Japanese restaurant in New Zealand, so pretty sure that's what it is. And I can just smell it already that it's gonna be that. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, it's so good. Japanese people have like this talent of doing perfect boiled eggs. I don't, I've never ever been able to boil an egg like this. And I've never had one like this in New Zealand. I feel like they either overcook them or they undercook them. But this is just absolutely perfect and I just don't know how they do it. This is such a good dish, like this is really nice. Definitely, definitely rate it. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna try is this ramen. Now the story of how I got this ramen is actually pretty funny. Um, I stood in the 7-Eleven near the ramen section and just waited for someone else to come pick one because I had no idea what was in any of them or what flavors they were. I could only really go by the pictures on top. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for a Japanese person to come and choose one and then I'm going to uh, slyly choose that same one after her. And yeah, so this girl came and picked up this one. I didn't have to wait that long actually, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, so... Gonna try this one out, it looks pretty good. It's 
So this is just finished cooking and it smells really, really good. And I'm really excited to try it. All right, let's go. That is really nice. The noodles are really chewy and they've got like quite a lot of substance with them, which is what I normally like in noodles. They're really good. Really, really hot. I'll try some of the broth. That was really good. That lady definitely knew what she was doing. I'm glad I waited for her to pick one. <laughs> These are really nice. Alright, so last but not least, we've got this peach flavored Suntory something. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's alcoholic. Um, yeah. Normally I wouldn't drink alcohol when I'm away on holiday, but this looks really cute and I'm a sucker for cute things, so I wanted to try it. Let's go. It smells really sweet. It smells like this, um, this drink I used to get at a dairy. It was like, I think it was called 2% or something, and it was peach flavored. And it smells exactly like this. I don't even know how this is going to be alcoholic. I can't smell any alcohol. And normally, like, I'm really sensitive to alcohol, so let's try it. That is really good, and it doesn't taste like alcohol at all. I don't see how this is 3%. The ciders I drink at home are 4.5% and they taste so much more stronger than this. This would be really, really dangerous. It's really nice though. It's really, really good. Definitely rate that. All right, so that was all the food I got from 7-Eleven in Japan. Now, I absolutely loved filming that. All the food was delicious, like so, so good. I wish food in New Zealand was that good because, oh my God, it was amazing. I think my favorite things were the egg sandwich, the pork cutlet sandwich, the cold noodles, and also the little cheesecake was really, really, really good. Like, oh my God, I could eat like 12 of those easily and not be sick. Like it was actually so, so nice. Um, yeah, so the real reason I'm in Japan is I'm actually filming a TV show, but I can't really go into too much detail right now because they haven't aired it yet. So once they air it, I can post some stuff about it. So hold tight for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.